श्री श्री आनंदमयी मात की जय समवन वाज रीडिंग आउट अ पोएम ऑफ हिज ओन क्रिएशन इट बिगिन विद अ कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन शिवा एंड पार्वती पार्वती वांटेड टू नो वेदर ऑल पीपल हु डाई एट काशी वुड बी लिबरेटेड देन एंड देयर नो वॉज शंकरास रिप्लाई नॉट ऑल only bhaktas who possess firm unflinching faith now the question arose as to what was the criterion for firm unflinching faith for it is by no means always possible to judge of the depths of a person's faith by outward appearances in order to test people's faith shiva and parvati in disguise went to manikarnika ghat Parvati sat down on the steps with her dead husband lying across her lap. In pitiful words, she begged every passerby to bring her some firewood for her husband's cremation. Many people, deeply moved by the sight of the poor widow and her dead husband, were only too eager to comply with her request. But said Parvati, "There is one condition." Before my husband passed away he voiced the express wish that the firewood should be supplied only by man entirely free of sin i am therefore in duty bound to ask this great kindness only from those of you who are not guilty of even a minor sin on hearing this not a single person was prepared to fetch the firewood for none could deem himself completely free of sin just then a man who had come to bathe in the ganga approached he was not only a drunkard but he indulged in other vices as well as soon as he came to know of parvati's request he exclaimed what is there so difficult about it just wait a moment till i have had my bath in the ganga he dived into the sacred waters and speedily returned to the poor widow with firewood in his arms are you quite sure that you are entirely free from sin questioned parvati how dare you doubt it replied the drunkard have you not with your own eyes seen me immersed in the purifying waters at that very instant all my sins were washed away This is Shankara's own promise. Here, take the wood and go ahead with the cremation. Someone who had listened to the story did not feel convinced. The story sounds good enough. Nevertheless, is it really possible for a man of such unshakable faith to live in sin? Someone else explained. From a man's outer behavior, one cannot guess what stage of spiritual development he may have reached. He may be highly advanced and yet have to work out a little bad karma that has been left over. Through the force of his prarabdha, he may have been obliged to misconduct himself for a time in the manner mentioned in the story. In this way, his unusually strong faith becomes understandable. another person put in both statements are the truth mata ji truth is one how can there be two truths the same person as before whatever anyone perceives from his own standpoint is for him the truth mata ji where there is no question of standpoints and opinions where the food he who eats and the action of eating are one there truth is one and nothing exists beside the one truth but where something is it is due to the veil of ignorance at the very instant of enlightenment this veil will be rent and all ignorance and sin however grave or manifold will be burnt up in such a state wrong action cannot occur yet there is another thing to be said a man may have accumulated a great deal of merit and yet have to work out a tiny little bit of karma shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai